Okay, welcome. This is the live online group Reiki session for the full moon of the 18th of September. Um, and that is for us in London. It'll be 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the morning for us in London when the moon is actually officially full. And this is this session is going to utilize one of the experiences that we have in Holy Fire Reiki. And this is the um, the holy love experience and the intention for this one is for the energy to go through our timeline to find the experience or find anything perhaps which may have a psychological, emotional, mental, spiritual impact on us which may be um, affecting our health and well-being so for this energy to scan it and go to those to that appropriate place in time or those appropriate places in time so that we can um, experience fantastic health, fantastic rejuvenation. Perhaps it has to do with ideas of age or that, you know, we are only because our parents or our grandparents or great grandparents only live to this age, you know, and that, that that's all we can ever expect. So perhaps you know, that's completely rubbish. And um, and perhaps that's one of the things this energy will help us with so that we can, you know, all our stem cells work perfectly and our cells rejuvenate, they're healthy, no matter what's happened over the past few years with all the pandemic and stuff that our bodies, when, when we are in tune with what we need to eat, and the exercise and the fresh air that we need and the lifestyle which works best for us and it can be unique for each person yeah that when when our body is in receipt of all this plus love and devo you know love and devotion from ourselves yeah um we'll find that it can regenerate can rejuvenate and we can be incredibly healthy and we may have the boon of having a very, very long, healthy, amazing and creative life. And with um, an extension of lifespan, um, it, it's, it helps with our experiences, I think, very much so, our learning and our experience on this plane. And, um, and I hope that in our lifetime, that there is greater joy, even though the newspapers may say otherwise, that there is greater joy, there's greater positive evolution for all of us, there's greater unity and compassion amongst all humanity, and for everything in this world of which we are a part, we are definitely not separate from, we're all connected. So, just like all other sessions, and before I forget, this is the second in the series of four um, holy love experiences which I'm running. So the first one has been uploaded, the recording has been uploaded and that's to help us to have, to, to experience unconditional love even more or to, to start working through the reasons why we may not or we don't believe we receive that or we deserve it, deserve it. So this one is to do with scanning the timeline to help us with our health and well-being. And the third one, um, which will be this Saturday, which is in celebration of the autumn equinox, um, this will be the Holy Fire, the Holy Love experience will help us with any um, trauma or pain or wounding when we were conceived through gestation and into birth as well, because birth can sometimes be pretty traumatic. Yeah. And the fourth one, which will be um, the next new moon, which will be the start of October, right at the start of October. Um, the fourth holy love experience will help us move forward um, on our spiritual path. Yeah, however that shows up for us, however it pans out for us. Okay, so as with all, um, all these live online sessions and all the Reiki sessions, we will start with... Um, Cleanse and dedication. So that will come first, and then I will change the music, and we will go straight into the very short, into the 
music for it and also it's a very very short script very very short guided meditation and then you're just asked to go with the energy and go with whatever visuals that you get okay so if you'd like to close your eyes I'm going to just start the music for the cleanse and dedication just make sure if you remain seated if you're going to be seated and not lying down, whichever you prefer, if you are seated, make sure your back is fully supported, okay? And also, whatever else you would like to set the intention for, if you'd like help with grounding, please set your intention and please ask for it as well. If you feel you need to release anything, also verbalize it in your mind and expect expect it to happen okay if we expect miracles miracles happen okay so just take a few deep breaths okay i'm just going to mute myself for a moment So just breathe deeply. <laughs> Thank you. I get mixed up with my mute and my pause. So just breathe deeply. And sorry for the pause just now. Breathe according to your own rhythm. Whatever's comfortable for you. And we will begin with the cleanse and dedication. I call the planetary and cosmic light beings to establish and activate a gigantic ascension column in each of our rooms. So whatever is said, is said on behalf of all of us here and applies to our spaces, all our spaces as well. I ask that it be connected to a gigantic pillar of light and to this group's planetary and cosmic antakarana, the tube of light that connects us with our monad and high self. I ask that the pillar of light contain the gold and white flame of ascension, that it be connected to the ascension flame in the temple of Luxor. I call forth and invoke Lord Melchizedek, the Mahatma, and Metatron to bring down the platinum and diamond mats through all of us, all our high selves and committees, through all the rooms, through all our rooms, our buildings, our gardens, the land, all the way down to the core and all the way up into air, sky and space. The nets will clear and transmute all of us of all negative, imbalanced, discordant energies, all master programs, all codes and programs which keep us in duality and illusion consciousness. And they'll clear and transmute all of these through all our minds, bodies, emotions, expressions, through all space-time dimensions, universes, through all charts, through all levels and layers. the planetary and cosmic light beings again for a planetary and cosmic exitonal alignment now. This will balance all meridians of each individual and instantly align all our energies with source and the consciousness of all the spiritual light beings on all levels and through all layers.
I call the inner plane ascended ones and all the light beings to anchor and activate the golden white ascension flame. We'll instantly feel and even see this energy coming in now. I call all the angels and all the light beings to join the session today. I ask that the appropriate beings and bearers of light step forward to overlight the session. So we welcome in all the archangels, Metatron, Ratziel, Zavkiel, Mikael, Haniel, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Shamael, Sandalphon, Ariel, Arikiri, the Master Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Dwalkul, Lao Chu, Isis, Osiris, Horus, Sekhmet, Bastet, Set, Lakshmi, Kutumi, Shiva, Ganesha. We welcome in the consciousness of this planet. And all the plants, our spirit animal guides, the star beings, the trees, the flowers, all the elements. And we call for Raphael to anchor in our east, Mikael to anchor in our south, Gabriel to anchor in our west, Uriel to anchor in our north, Metatron to anchor above, Sandalphon to anchor below, and we ask for spirit to be anchored within, we acknowledge spirit within. For I am the soul, I am the light divine, I am love, I am will, I am fixed design, I am the monad, I am the light divine, I am love, I am will, I am fixed design. And I call for Archangel Mikael and all his legions of angels to create golden, violet and diamond domes of transmutation for all of us, all our high selves and committees, through all our rooms, our buildings, our gardens, our land down to the core and up into air, sky and space. From the point of light that I am, I let light stream forth from the mind of God. Earth radiates with light. From the point of love within the heart of God, I let love stream forth from my heart. I am the Christed soul on earth, from my center where the will of source is known, I let divine purpose guide me, the purpose which the ascended ones know and serve. From the center of the divine human race, let the plan of love and light work out. My love seals the door where evil dwells. I am the light, the love and the power, living God's plan on earth. Just for today, I will not be angry. I will not be anxious. I'll be grateful for all my many blessings. I'll be devoted to myself and my work. And I'll be kind to every living being. <laughs> so be it. So mote it be. Amen. And it is so. So if you have not yet set your intention, please do so. And we are going to move on 
to the music for the session, for the actual energy session. So I'd like you to imagine that it is a beautiful sunny day. Imagine you are walking through a beautiful forest. And as you breathe into yourself, you are breathing in the life essence of the forest. And with each step that you take, imagine the energies of earth are flowing up through the bottoms of your feet. And as you walk along, allow yourself to experience the trees, plants, flowers, and grass and to merge with the life and the harmony and peace of this forest. As you continue to walk along, you notice that up ahead it is getting lighter and you realize you are coming to the edge of the forest. As you leave the forest, before you is a beautiful river. It is the river of life. There are beautiful flowers growing along the riverbank and there is a path following alongside the river. Follow the path alongside the river. Eventually you come to a bend in the river there is a light breeze blowing, causing the surface of the river to have small ripples. The sun is shining off the ripple surface of the water, creating a glittering, shimmering light. You realize this is no ordinary light, but is a spiritual light coming from the highest heaven. You allow the light to enter your soul. Allow the light to guide you. Allow it to bring you along with the most appropriate experience at this time.
whenever you are guided to do so and at the pace that feels right for you. Take a few breaths, bring your awareness to your eyes and slowly open your eyes and come back. If you need to ground yourself, do. But what I'd suggest you do is pay attention to your breath cycle. So your in breath and your out breath. Also connect to all your senses. So what can you taste? What can you smell? What else can you hear besides my voice and the chime? What visuals are you getting? Is your body warm or cool? So use your senses to really anchor you in your body, in the space where we began this session Wriggle your fingers, wriggle your toes, do a bit of gentle stretching. You may want to wriggle your bum on your chair or on your bed or sofa if you're lying down. Use the sound as well. Use your hearing sense to really hear the chime and feel your body's response to it. Be appreciative of the breath that you take in, of all that oxygen that you bring into your cells and to that capacity on the out-breath to release. Express your appreciation for your body and for how amazing it is and how beautiful it is as well. So remember, keep wriggling fingers, keep wriggling toes. You may need a good sniff of something strong, perhaps some aromatherapy oil. If you need it, it will help you to really ground yourself. And I'm going to thank everyone who partakes of this after the live session, but just make sure that you're completely grounded before you rush off to do anything else. And also, make sure you drink enough water. Keep hydrated. Okay, and goodbye for now.